Hey Scorpios, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the Scorpio love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really good. I'm not um, putting a time line on here. And as you guys know, time is, is not linear anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But Scorpio and Pisces, you guys are my last two. Um, and I'm good. It feels good to be back, by the way. It feels really, really good to be back. Um, I needed to see my family. I needed a little bit of break. So it was good for me. Those who are really new to my channel. <laughs> I like you guys are in the midst of coming into my channel as I'm changing a lot of stuff but I hope you guys are still enjoying my content and enjoy and will be enjoying the content that I'll be putting up on here okay so Scorpios let's just dive into the meditative session that I did and then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot card reading for anybody who has questions curiosities or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer or how to interpret what I'm saying as far as terminology if you're really really new to tarot please check out the link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer okay uh Scorpios, the first thing I saw, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a jaguar or a panther. I honestly don't know aesthetically the difference between the two, but it was interesting because the environment I saw this, we'll just say the big cat, <laughs> the big black cat. The energy I saw this cat, the energy, the environment that I saw this cat in was not its normal environment. It was so not like that's usually tropical, right? Or something that's at very low sea level. This panther black panther or jaguar again i'm not sure aesthetically what the difference would have been looks very similar to me uh up in like snowy mountains it's like it was not in its natural environment at all it was not in its normal habitat and it was almost like marking its territory i think you're in a lot of leo energy scorpio you're definitely in a lot of masculine energy and masculine energy is gonna be at the forefront for the next couple of months so i'm not surprised by that okay i feel very like king of wands king of pentacles esque because it had that like that fiery sort of agitation of controlling the environment, but being very like active about it. Um, but it also had this energy of trying to like have stability, right? It's like, that's what marking territory is to me. Like, this is mine. <laughs> this is mine. This is my home. This is my environment. This is, this is mine. And just very much claiming that, right? Um, the interesting thing to me, Scorpio, is that the big cat... <laughs> uh was giving warnings like you know like with um animals it's like when they feel threatened or even if they just like no if they feel threatened yeah if they feel threatened they do little warnings right it's like big cats it's usually like a roar or like a hiss depending on the kind of cat we're talking about right um that animal was doing that and scorpio do you feel like this is you it could be someone that you're connecting to or it could be someone within your physical environment so just keep that in mind for those who are new to like how energy works because energy can be um reversed or vice versa it's fluid it's not linear um but that's how it looked, like giving little like warnings, like warnings, warnings, warnings. So Scorpio, I feel like you're in a lot of new stuff or you're in a new environment. You're trying to own something new or you're trying to just own something, okay? And claim it as yours and make it very clear of what you're doing, right? And make it very clear and warning other people around you to not fuck with you, okay? I do feel like that you are working a lot with your shadow, but in a really healthy way. I feel like you're, you're understanding how to use your shadow, which is important of integrating it, right? It's really, um, I wouldn't say advanced, but it's, it's, you know, it's shadow work, but it's not someone who's new at shadow work, right? And Scorpio's not surprising. You'd be really, really good at that. So it's, you're kind of like giving the warning of, I know how to use my shadow. I'm not afraid to use it. You know, it's like you're kind of giving off that vibe, even if you are not conscious of it. That's exactly what you're doing. OK, it's very powerful. It's very healthy for this time period that we're in. And of course, time is linear. So whenever you get to watch this readings, when you're going to watch it. Um, but that's what a lot of people need to be doing for the next couple of months. And it seems like you're doing it beautifully. OK, well, I got this image, this, this vision, if you want to call it that. I did get the sense of um having a lot of confusion and I think having a lot of choices that need to be made. Scorpio, whether this is this is still you or someone within your environment. Um and, and like I don't want to use the word confusion. I almost want to use the word chaos. Kind of feels like that. Like really needing to be strong to control the chaos of a situation. Um and I really feel like it's coming down to just having so much at your disposal that is kind of like I don't really need all of this at my disposal. What is best to keep? What is best to, to, you know, to choose? What is, what path is best to go down? It feels a little bit like that. And Scorpio, I do think a lot of you, I said, are new environments or new fields or just something new. You could just be a new you, you know, this could all just be about your own personal growth. It doesn't have to be about work or um, life changes. And a lot of you, I do think this is work related or at least your purpose 
relating to your purpose. Um, but yeah, I just feel like a really a big need to control the chaos. Um, some of you are really struggling to do this. You're, I feel like you're doing it in a very physical way, in a very tangible way, in a very like pentacles 3D way. But I, I, I think you really need to use your intuition with this Scorpio. Intuition is one of your natural tools in your toolbox, in the Scorpio toolbox, right? And I, mm, they're talking to me. Your intuition's been almost giving you more confusion, Scorpio. At least you feel that way. At least Scorpio's I'm tapped into. Um, that your intuition's only been confusing you more. But I really feel like your intuition's the key. I feel like I've had this message for someone recently in the last couple weeks. Yeah, I feel, again, with that, like, Leo energy, that very, like, controlling, tangible, like, like, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, like, I'm just going to control the situation and control my options, control my path, control the confusion that is going on within me and what I need to do, but you clearly still have that confusion or chaos that you're dealing with in a situation. Again, this could all be internal. Like I said, it doesn't have to be having too many choices at your disposal or too many things on your plate. Um, you know, take it as it resonates. And you're not really using your intuition, but you need to. You need to. You're having a lot of confusion around using your intuition for this kind of situation. So Scorpio, a lot of stuff going on, but let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. Ooh, Empress of the Eight of Wands, Scorpio. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I just heard rain. I like that. Like R-E-I-G-N, -R rain. All right, Scorps. Okay. Quizzing for any messages for Scorpio regarding love. For Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward any messages for Scorpio regarding love. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpio, using your shadow side in this way. Again, some of you like are not even realizing you're doing this. Uh, but you're like I said, you're integrating it. And that's only going to make you more balanced and more aligned and help you really elevate your life or whatever it is you want to put that energy towards, okay? Could even be your own ascension in life or in spirituality, like an actual ascension process. Please important messages of truth, thing, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. They're giving me weird references to cooking. Can only use one pot? What is this? Just use one pot. What? Okay. Okay, Scorpio, whatever some of this new stuff is, what might be adding for some of you, not all of you, to the confusion or the chaos of it, you might be trying to have too many things going on. I mean, it's kind of what I was already picking up on, but they're specifying like one pot, like one thing, one big thing. Yeah, this is definitely similar energy that I've had recently for, some, for another sign. Can't remember, I cannot remember why I me which one it was. But yeah, it's almost like you don't need to have four or five pots going, just have one. Just have one big one. Just have one big one. Oh, oh shit, Scorpio, Ace of Cups in reverse. Wow, okay, Ace of Cups in reverse really wanted to come out here. It feels, it on, a Scorpio, I'll be honest, it feels like a missed opportunity in love. You might have missed out on love recently, or you might be need, you might be needing to, interesting. This might be one of the hard choices you have to make. So you might need to not pursue a certain person, or someone might need to realize that they need to not pursue you. That's how it feels. It feels like a missed opportunity in love, and it seems like something that is, needs to be decided upon. Yeah, it feels like something that needs to be decided upon. Oh crap, we got the devil at the bottom. Shit, Scorpio. Please for any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it for Scorpio. So Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter. If something's meant for you, it'll come back. Some of you guys are really asking me a lot of questions about this one. Uh, if it's meant for you, it'll come back. You might have had a small window of opportunity here, Scorpio, where it was viable. But for whatever reason, it had to be missed, or you missed it. Or they missed you. Which is not a bad thing, okay, Scorpio? That's not a bad thing. If it's meant for you, it'll come back. It'll present itself again. Pleasing for any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Strength in reverse, Leo. <laughs> so what was I saying? I was like, I feel a lot of Leo energy for you guys. Five of Wands in reverse, more Leo energy. And then we have the Six of Cups in reverse, which is Scorpionic energy. Yeah, this is a lot of upsetness. I'm just getting upsetness and drama 
conflict and it was too much for you. It was too, too much for you or too much for someone else. I feel I feel a lot of people involved in this Scorpio. So whatever this missed opportunity in love is, you probably missed it because there were a lot of people involved in it or attached to it or causing problems around it or causing drama around it. And with Strength and Averse, you kind of just let it go. It was too much for someone. You or someone you were connecting with and it was just like, it's time to let this shit go. <laughs> letting it go, letting you go. It, it shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this complicated. Please inform you messages of truth. Wow. Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Yeah, you let it go. You let it go. It does feel like it was a soulmate. Justice. Mm-hmm. Libra energy. You did the right thing, Scorpio. Jeez, that devil really likes to stay out there, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> Libra energy. You really did the right thing here, Scorpio. And I feel like some of you haven't come to this decision yet, but... It was the right decision, and if this person's meant for you, they'll they'll present themselves again, or spirit will present an opportunity again. But I do feel multiple energies around this Scorpio, where it was like it really did make it too hard, or too drama filled, or too confusing, too something. It was too something, okay? It was too something, but I do feel like it's because of other people, and that's okay. That's okay. If something's that hard, it's it's that same line of thinking that I was picking up on earlier. It shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, Scorpios, let's go ahead and get into your actual reading here. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Uh, for some of you, you actually fell out of love with somebody or someone fell out of love with you because there was too much drama. But I do feel like it was because of other people. I don't even feel like it's because it's something between you and the other person. It's because of other people. Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Oh, oh. <laughs> Dropping cards left and right. Oh, geez. Temperance in reverse. <laughs> Sagittarian energy. There's that major, um, like, cha chaotic, confusing energy that I was picking up on earlier. Yeah, I feel like a struggle to find control, a struggle to find the balance. <sighs> yes. Yeah, oh, now I'm feeling frustration from you guys. Um, yeah, a struggle to find the balance. A struggle to find the balance here. And it's interesting too, Scorpio, because it is the Sag card. It's a fire card. And upside down, that triangle gets flipped upside down to water. It's under, like when it's in reverse like this, it just reminds me of like pure water energy versus pure fire energy. I mean, it's not explicit. It's just for me as a reader, how I interpret that card. But yeah, I'm just getting, yeah, chaos, chaos. There's, there's either too much on your plate, Scorpio, or you're facing too much or too many options or something just isn't clear. It's made you frustrated and you're trying to control that, but you're not using your intuition to see see it clearly you're using more of just your pure will and yeah your pure will just to like control yourself but that's not really a solution i'll just just being honest with scorpio i mean i didn't like that i'm just being honest with you any other messages for scorpio any other messages for scorpio some of you like something was really unfair hold on i just heard someone like Someone literally just saying that it was really unfair. Oh, they said fucking unfair, but it was really unfair. Mm, my heart chakra is not happy all of a sudden. <sighs> Scorpio, you feel like a situation did not go in your favor, and I don't think it did. I don't think it went in your favor. You blame someone else for it, though. I'm not telling you you should or shouldn't. I'm just telling you what I'm getting. You definitely blame someone for this. And I feel like it was someone external, like someone who shouldn't even been involved. Yeah, someone, I just, some, bleh. some guys just said that to me. Someone that shouldn't have been involved. Any other messages for Scorpio? Some of you guys are really struggling with spiritual attacks. I'm getting that with the temperance card. Because temperance is like a, um, a guardian angel, right? A guardian angel or um, protection or divine intervention. Some of you, your protection was um, infiltrated. That's weird. And it, yeah, they're telling me, they're saying that to me, but I feel like that's just really saying spiritual attack. 
Any messages for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio regarding love? Wow. Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. It's also Mars. Could also be Scorpio here. It could also be representing you. Like I said, Scorps, I feel like you're in a lot of masculine energy. A lot. But again, this could be someone else. You could feel like, yeah, I honestly, Scorpio, I feel like you you feel interference here between you and an emperor is really how it feels. Or that you've had some kind of divine injustice, like literally on your end of things as you've been in very masculine energy and integrating more of your shadow side. That's how it's feeling. It's almost like inter interference, like spiritual interference. They're showing me the panther, jaguar again. You're you're a little not you're not even guarded. You're just kind of like I don't know the word for this. You're showing your you're not showing you're threatened because it's not you're not showing it like that. You're just giving the warnings. You're giving the warnings and it's because of this energy. It's because you've felt this interference. Yeah, for some of you, it's because you feel like spiritually, you've been spiritually attacked. All right, let's keep going. Any other messages? Any other messages for Scorpio? We've got an Eight of Cups in reverse out here. Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love? Any other messages for Scorpio regarding love? Oh, that's it. Ooh, and then overall energy, we got the tower. Yep. Scorpio, I feel like you feel this tower coming. I think you feel it. You kind of know it's already happening. This is a uh, scorpionic energy, so it could also be Aries, but it is, um, I mean, sorry, Mars energy, so it could also be Aries, but it is your major arcana card. And then we have these three cards out here. You only got a three card reading, Scorpio. Temperance in reverse with the Emperor and then the Eight of Cups in reverse. You're having, yeah, you're having trouble getting past this because like I said, it's as it's adding confusion. It's asing. It's adding confusion and chaos to your mind, to your mental space. Your intuition, you don't feel like is helping you in this situation here. So you're really struggling to let it go. You're really struggling to let this interference, this chaos, this imbalance, whatever it is, you're having trouble letting it go. You're having trouble getting past it. But I, I feel like you're experiencing almost like a dragged out tower moment. Some of you are anticipating this coming. Some of you are already in this, but it feels prolonged. It's weird. It feels very dragged out and prolonged. You might even feel like time has really slowed down for you. Yeah, you might feel like time has slowed down for you. It's a, it's a strange feeling, Scorpio. I don't really like it, to be honest with you. I don't like it. Some of you guys could be going through a spiritual awakening, but I don't think so. I don't think so. It's like a dragged out tower, and I feel like it's getting dragged out because you're having that confusion with your intuition. Right? What makes a tower moment finito is having that clarity, and you don't have that yet. It's like you've been continuously falling. Oh, that's oh, that's horrible. Yeah, it's like you've been continuously falling, Scorpio, in this tower, just kind of waiting to get to the other side of it. Like you, you eat tower. Excuse me, you eat tower moments for breakfast. Like tower moments are not scary for you, but you're kind of like, is it over yet? <laughs> that's kind of I'm getting like. Is this going to end at some point? Am I going to have the clarity? Am I going to get to the other end of the tunnel? Hold on, let me get some water, guys. Mm. Yeah, I want this tower moment. They're showing they keep showing me that panther and that panther slash jaguar situation again. Yeah, you just feel like you're out of your element. Like you're trying really hard to maintain control. Really, really hard to try to maintain control not showing that you're falling to the people around you, but I think it's working. Not to tell on you, um, but I do feel like it's working. I do feel like it is working though. People are not aware that you're falling in this never ending tower moment or the feeling of a tower moment. And it's because you haven't gone to the other side yet because you don't have the clarity. Once you have clarity, it's gonna be over and you're gonna be fine. But you're out of your element right now. You're feeling a little threatened, a little on edge. You're giving that warning, at least your energy is giving warnings to people to not fuck with you. And you're controlling yourself, but you don't have the clarity and only your intuition, I feel like can give you that, but you're having trouble trusting it right now. All right, Scorpio. So let's get into temperance in reverse. <laughs> now that we're 20 minutes in and I'm just riffing off of all these cards. Uh, yeah, let's get into temperance in reverse. Um, let's do crystal. Mm. 
Talking about temperance in reverse for Scorpio. Could also be um, a customer, by the way. Talking about temperance in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. And I don't want to hear the argument that there are no cuspers. If that's what you believe, that's cool. If that's, you, if that's what you follow. Talking about temperance in reverse for Scorpio. Talking about temperance in reverse for Scorpio. And if you feel that strongly about it, make your own channel, okay? All right, let's keep going. Sorry, I, I could actually hear them saying that. I could actually hear people saying that to me, and it's like, <laughs> again, if you feel strongly about that shit, make your own channel. Don't come on here saying that shit to me. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just really in your energy, and a lot of you, like I said, are really in your shadow. Your shadow's like really, really out, okay? Anyway, so let's go to Temperance in Reverse. It's gonna be the case for a lot of people for the next couple months, so also keep that in mind, Scorpio. So I have a temperance in reverse. So I have a temperance in reverse for Scorpio regarding love. No, oh, they want me to shuffle a lot. Darkest before dawn is what I just heard. Darkest before dawn. Um, like I said, you're handling this prolonged tower moment. It is. That's exactly what it is. It's such a strange fucking feeling and like I said Scorpio you might even feel like time has slowed down for you because it's like it's being so dragged out um it's gonna be darkest before the dawn so you might feel a little they said a lot okay it depends on where you are in this process of course and in this energy because you're all gonna go through a different um in a different way or at a different time um in the next couple months but uh Scorpio it's gonna get really really heavy and really really confusing before you have that light come in before you have the insight come in before you have your intuition coming back online in a very clear way okay tell me about temperance in reverse oh that's too many I'll take that one. Ooh, yeah nine of cups in reverse Piscean energy oh Scorpio I'll be honest it's interesting that that came through before um, these cards, the Nine of Cups in reverse came out. Sorry, I don't have my words with me yet. I'm still a little like jet lagged, okay? Um, where I said that it's gonna be darkest before the dawn. These two cards together usually indicate depression, okay? Especially when we get the Five of Cups out here. We don't have it yet, but if we do get it, I will be confirming depression or depressive energy. Temperance in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's imbalance, it's disappointment, it's and in a very emotional way at that. And it's being out of control and being out of alignment. Okay. Now, like I said, Scorpio, this could very well be someone else. But I do feel like it's it's just your masculine energy going through this. And that's gonna be like that for everybody. Tell me about temperance in reverse. People are gonna handle it differently, but just watch the overindulgence as well. This could definitely definitely be overindulgence in anything, any kind of vice, food, booze, whatever. But watch the overindulgence. Tell me about temperance in reverse. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, Page of Swords. You're trying to understand. <laughs> Damn it, Scorpio. I like I feel for you. You're trying so hard to just understand and just gain the fucking clarity that you want to get out of this never-ending tower moment. Tell me about temperance in reverse. That's what the page of swords is. It is communication as well. Like that's why they call it the spine card. Because it's mental. It's analyzation. Um, but I feel like you're just trying to analyze the chaos because you, you're tired of it. You're tired of it. Talking about temperance in reverse for Scorpio. Now keep in mind, Scorpio, this could be someone you're connecting with. So it could be someone who's watching you in this energy or even like just trying to understand their own situation, but connecting to you in some way or some fashion. You can be, you could know someone who is very indulgent or very depressed or in a very kind of like a uh, prolonged rut, a prolonged rut. Tell me about Temperance in Reverse for Scorpio. Tell me about Temperance in Reverse for Scorpio. Oh. Okay. Of course. We have the Nine of Swords, uh, Gemini energy. So again, being trapped in the mind. Like I said, you're trying to gain so much clarity on the confusion slash chaos that's going on in your headspace here because your intuition, you, like I said, is you don't feel like it's helping you in this situation right now. And then we have the devil came out, but it came out sideways. It didn't, it couldn't decide if it wanted to be upright or reverse. So I'm just going to hold it sideways for now. Uh, but this is Capricorn energy. The devil was lurking before. 
Okay, the devil is definitely looking lurk, lurking before. But you also have the strength card come come out. You also have the strength card come out. Um, usually when the strength card, the devil card comes out in the same reading or in the same kind of energy or the same kind of spread, it usually tells me that the devil has been defeated or is in the process of being defeated, at least the energy of the devil. And I do feel like that's just like the, the obsessive thinking and thoughts leading to just like the chaos in the mind. And Scorpio, you know you can be that, that way. You know you can be a little obsessive, okay? Um, keep in mind, Mars is going into Sag relatively soon, isn't it? Just like the third? Yeah, I think in a couple days, Mars goes into Sagittarius and that's going to make you feel a lot better. <laughs> That's gonna make you feel a lot better because right now it's in Scorpio. But either way, I do feel like this devil is in the process of getting um, beaten or cut away from. It's just the energy of the devil. It's just making your, your headspace way too chaotic. Overall energy, we do have three of wands in reverse. Aries energy, ew. Might have the two of cups in reverse. Cancerian energy, soulmate energy here. Yeah, for some of you, this is definitely about a soulmate, but it's like a soulmate can be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a coworker. It doesn't have to be a lover, but I definitely feel like Scorpio, it's it's that needing uh to release someone, right? Needing to have a missed opportunity in love for whatever reason or another, or realizing you that you don't really love someone anymore or that someone doesn't love you anymore. It could be in any kind of facet of that energy. So it could be with some, it could be with someone that you haven't actually been with yet, right? Maybe you were dating, maybe you just started to date and realizing, oh shit, this is not going to work out or I can't do this because of this, that, or the other, right? That five of wands energy we're picking up on earlier, or this is someone you could have actually been with. And it's like, it's been lost. It's been lost or like you had to walk away or they had to walk away. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. So like I said, we've got the Emperor card here. This could be you or this could be uh, the other person that you're dealing with. Scorpios, I just feel like you are in a lot of masculine energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is just you harnessing that masculine shadowy energy right now because you're integrating it in this very prolonged tower moment. <laughs> it's weird. It almost feels like it's a season for you, Scorpio. <laughs> Like, it's not just a moment. It almost feels like it's months, to be honest with you. Like, that's how it's feeling. And I don't want to make you feel like you're going to be going through this for months. If you've already been in this energy for months, then you already know. But that's how it feels. It's not just like a trigger moment. It's not just a day. It's prolonged. It's prolonged, but you're controlling yourself. <laughs> you are controlling yourself, though. But with the Eight of Cups in reverse, you are having trouble letting go of some of some stuff here, okay? Whether it's just this particular soulmate. Some of you feel like a soulmate actually... Um, interfered with you and your life or interfered with a connection of yours like that a uh, spiritual attack energy i was picking up on earlier some of you might actually feel that way but you're having trouble letting it go scorpio but let's go ahead and look at the eight of cups in reverse mm. let me get a little sip of coffee too <laughs> oh, no more red eyes <laughs> No more red eyes. I say that every time and I don't stick with it, but I need to. Um, let's do Gilded. Let's do Gilded here. So I'm going to eat a cups in reverse. I'm going to eat a cups in reverse. For Scorpio regarding love. Oop. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Page of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water with the Three of Wands. Oh, excuse me. Aries energy. Oh, it just got nasally. <laughs> with the Empress. Venusian. Libra energy and Taurus energy. We now have an Emperor and Empress on the board here. So like I said, Scorpio, this could have been someone that else that you were connecting with, or it could just be the battle between your masculine side and your feminine side, okay? So just keep that in mind as I go through these energies. There's no, yeah, there's no clarity. There's no, that's just all this is, Scorpio. There's no fucking clarity. Excuse me, you could be at a distance from someone. We have the Three of Wands in a verse here, and now we have it upright over here in this position between an Emperor and Empress energy. Scorpio, like I said, this could all be about your alignment. This could all purely be about your alignment and your spiritual spiritual growth and trying to get the clarity of what is so confusing. And when you're integrating your shadow side, I'm gonna do a video on this, by the way. When you're integrating your, your shadow side, it could be confusing. It could. It is hard to integrate your shadow. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not easy, especially those who've already done it. A lot of you already know. It's very different for everybody, but it can add confusion to your life. And sometimes it takes a while to get recalibrated as you're doing that. So be patient with yourself, Scorpio. This is all about a prolonged tower moment of integrating your shadow. 
okay? If there's a situation between you, you and another person, uh, an emperor and an empress, it seems like someone is really stuck in their headspace, really fucking confused. It's really thrown them out of alignment. For some, there's even some depression going on here. And that's definitely for the masculine energy who's trying to gain, who's trying to maintain control of themselves, emotional control, but they're not using their intuition to get the clarity so that they don't have to always be in such control, right? And they can't get past the situation regarding an empress here. I do feel like there's distance. It could just be emotional, but I do feel like it's actually physical difference. The page of swords in reverse is just indicating the lack of clarity. The lack of clarity of what's going on with this feminine energy and what to do about this feminine energy because this masculine energy is so caught up in their head, okay? You might have to watch this a couple times, Scorpio. I know it's a lot of information. I know it's a lot of information. All right, Scorps. Let's keep going. So just to reiterate, I know it's not like a broken record and us tarot readers sound like broken records because we want you guys to understand, okay? If this is just a reading about yourself, this is for a Scorpio going through a very prolonged tower moment of integrating your shadow. That can add some confusion to your life. It takes recalibrating. It takes realigning because it's it's integrating a huge part of yourself that you were not aware of before or a part of yourself that you're not used to tapping into or used to using in a healthy way. And the Scorpios I'm tapped into for that are doing it in a healthy way, but that takes time to adjust and get used to and your intuition will come back swinging, okay? It just takes time. For those where this is between you and another person, there's a masculine energy here who's trying to maintain emotional control because they're really out of fucking control, okay? They got a lot of chaos going on in their head. They're stuck, they're stuck in their headspace trying to gain clarity on a situation of a feminine energy where they feel like an opportunity of love has been missed, okay? Whether it's for the best or not, I do feel like with that five of ones energy we have that there were interfering energies involved in that, okay? And it had to be lost for the time being, but if something is, if someone's meant for you, it will reappear. It will, the divine will make sure that there's an opportunity at some point in time when the time is right, okay? But that's all I'm getting with this. That's all I'm getting with that. All right, let's keep going. Time of Eight of Cups in reverse for Scorpio. A lot of heart chakra stuff here, guys. Oh, it's almost making it hard for me to breathe. Oh, it just feels like a huge weight on my chest. I don't really like it. I don't like it. Time of Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, now I just got lightheaded. Time of Eight of Cups in reverse for Scorpio. Ew. Ew. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I don't like this energy. This is a pissed off, angry energy. I don't like this, Scorpio. I don't like this. For those who you're integrating your energies, like your, sh your shadow side, and like I said, you were giving warnings to people, whether you were conscious of it or not, your energy is just doing that for you. Some of you are actually very conscious that you're doing that. Uh, I feel like other people, are, uh, other people, whoever you're giving that warning to, very not happy with you, Scorpio. <laughs> They're very pissed off at you, okay? I feel like this could be many people, like the interfering energies I was picking up on. That could just be energies that you feel very threatened by, and so you're just trying to maintain your control while you keep integrating, right? But there, there's some pissy, pissed off little energies going on around you, Scorpio, while you're doing this, and you're aware of that, which is why you're giving these warnings, consciously or subconsciously. Uh, those where you're in, involved with someone, an emperor and an empress, and like I said, the masculine energy is in a very depressed mode and like realizing like shit, I lost opportunity in love with this feminine energy. And like I said, there's interfering energies there. I feel like this is, this is representing those, those interfering energies, jealousy, jealousy and anger. Um, mm, not really authentic, not really authentic energies. That's what I picked up with that. I just heard trusting the wrong person. Time about Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, Jesus. Time about Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Holy shit. Time about Eight of Cups in reverse for Scorpio. Jesus. Okay. <sighs> wow, this, this kind of sucks. So we have Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles, King of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, overall energy, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have the Chariot with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and then we have King of Pentacles in reverse. So there's all of a sudden all these Pentacles have showed up. 
there's no way that money or stability has not been lost in this situation or is in the process of being lost or will be lost with this energy. I mean, this is someone leaving behind instability, but I do feel like it's because st stability has been lost. Okay, that could be in the form of money. That could be just in the form of predictability. That could be in the form of confidence in another person. Um, I do feel like it has to do with these interfering energies here that have caused a ruckus. Okay, Scorpio, whether you're just working on your shit, integrating your shadow side, and you've got these, this, this, that. Um, <laughs> just, I don't even want to focus on them, to be honest with you. You've got that kind of hating on you, mad at you. You know, part of this process, you might have had to push a lot of people away to do this process and they don't like it or they see that you're coming into your power and they don't like it but your energy is in the right place like you're giving off those warnings in the way that you need to or at least your energy is okay and for those where it's between an emperor and an empress this is an interfering energy who interfered with that shit and it was just too much it was too much it was too much for someone or for both of you and one of you was just like i'm not doing this anymore i'm not doing this anymore but with all of this energy, with the Queen of Cups and the King of, with the Queen of Cups called him King of Pentacles. He is the King of Pentacles over here, though. With the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in reverse, with the Six of Pentacles right in between there, it's just like there really was an imbalance, or someone was giving to someone who didn't want it anymore, or someone who was giving to giving to someone who was closed off at the time, is what I'm getting with that at the time, and it could have been because maybe they were distracted by this interfering energy. Or maybe they have their own shit going on. But the fact that we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse next to them, they had a lot of instability or a lot of lack of confidence. They weren't exactly balanced in their own right either. You know what I mean, Scorpio? For those where it's just between you and your shadow side, you're trying to find that balance with that Six of Pentacles. You're trying to find that so you can get aligned and you can become, not become, excuse me, so you could step further into your power in the way that you need to, okay? And you're not going to let anyone stop you. Not gonna let anyone stop you. This energy overall does concern me though, because it's it's attached to this Eight of Cups in reverse, the not, unable to let it go, right? The unable to move on, um, either from this, you know, the haters, the whatever has been keeping you from integrating your shadow side, the wounds associated with that, the pain associated with that. You gotta leave that stuff behind because Scorpio, I see a lot of instability here, but the chariot says you can basically move past it. Okay, the chariot says you can move past it. Uh, Scorpios, where it's between you and an emperor or you and an empress, you can be the emperor here in this situation. Um, I do feel like the feminine energy might have left. I do feel like the feminine energy left or bounced because it was just too much, um, too much to deal with, too many interfering energies or whatever. It was just too much. It was just too much. Um, and it left this masculine energy with a lot of instability, a lot of uncertainty, and a lot of confusion. A lot of the confusion I was already picking up on. So Scorpio, I know there was a lot going on in this reading. <laughs> I know there was a lot, but there are two groups of you, okay? So decide uh, which group you're in. If you got to rewatch it, you got to rewatch it. But let's go ahead and break out some Oracle cards because I do feel like this is very positive. I just, the only thing that worries me is this energy. That's the only thing that worries me, especially for my Scorpios who are just dealing with their shadow side and integrating that. You clearly are not letting go of some things that you need to let go of to finish your integration. And that might be why you're in such a prolonged tower moment to integrate these energies. So I will be doing a video on this. Like I said, I will be. Um, shadow work is a never ending thing, by the way. So I also don't want to make it sound like it's a one and done process because it's not. <laughs> it's not. But Scorpios, it's almost like like some of you who are doing this, like you're you're stuck. And that's how exactly how it feels. Like you're you're kind of stuck. Okay. Um, those doing this like integration process. It's almost like you started to look at something. Because that's what shadow work is. Like you you just look at the parts of yourself that you don't normally look at. Um you really question your behavior. You question why you do certain things or why you think a certain way and you really have an honest conversation with yourself, which is why it's not easy, okay? That's why it's not easy. Not everyone's very capable of that. Um, but it's almost like you started to look at an issue and then you stopped, but you already started looking at it. You know what I mean? It's like you opened the box. Like <laughs> you opened Pandora's box and now you're like, I'm closing it. Like, I don't, you know, I didn't do it. I didn't really open it. Like, you know what I mean? It's like I address, I, I visited an issue, but I didn't address it. That's kind of how it feels. Like you, you started the process of looking at an issue in particular, and then you stopped, but you already started, so you have to finish it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
Um, but anyway, Scorpio, that's just for those who are doing that integration shadow work. That's just what I was picking up on for some of you. Um, if you're in that group, you, 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 you just got to keep looking at it, okay? <laughs> you just got to keep looking at it. You already started. There's no point in trying to pretend like you didn't already start looking at that particular issue, okay? But for those with where this is between you and a love interest, an emperor and empress, it definitely seems like someone interfered or someone got involved. Someone who, sh some, someone who shouldn't have been involved in the first place. It's like, yeah, that's what I keep hearing. Someone who shouldn't have been involved in the first place. And I feel like the feminine energy left or dropped the situation, leaving the masculine energy very confused, very unstable, very depressed, and trying to gain clarity on the situation, trying to get understanding on the situation. But they're having trouble coming out of their tower moment because they're very massively confused, okay? I actually want to look at this energy. Let's look at this energy in the Opal Oracle cards. I'm going to use a Lenormand deck on this one. I'm gonna go OG. Let's do OG. Tell me this Queen of Wands in reverse. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in reverse. For Scorpio. Oh, hold on, I got a peeker. Oh, well. We got the broom. <laughs> we got also known as the whip. In the Lenormand deck, I like to call it the broom though. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, energy of 11 here, okay? This is sweeping up the truth. Sweeping up the truth. No way. Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed that before. Because I was about to say, it's like, that's what the card means, but I almost feel like someone's trying to sweep the truth under the rug. I feel like whoever this this energy is who was interfering between the emperor and the empress or again if it's just an energy that's like hating on you scorpio it's like i feel like this person in their motivation was trying to sweep the truth under the rug like hide it instead of sweeping it up for the truth to come out and i just noticed if you look at the shadow does that not look like a female the shadow like the head the shoulders and the curves does that not look like a female to you that looks totally like a woman to me that totally looks like a woman to me Oh, I just heard shadow person. Oh, we're going down an interesting rabbit hole, Scorpio. This is gonna be a long reading. Oh, you guys already know it's long. Anyway, um, I literally just heard shadow person. So there's different theories on shadow people, okay? I don't wanna spend too long on a topic on it. Maybe I'll do a video on it, actually. Um, I know I'm gonna forget. <laughs> oh, I don't have a pen. I don't have a pen. Um, gosh darn it. Uh, hold on. Cement in my brain. Video on shadow. Okay, I'll try really hard to remember. Anyway, um, so shadow people, I mean, some people feel that they're demons, some people feel that they're aliens, some people feel like they're just really gnarly entities that have gotten really twisted over time because of, you know, various reasons because of in, uh, interacting with other energies or just being here too long or being um, in a improper place or improper energy for too long or having fragments of energies left behind and so because they're fragments it turns into something it wasn't initially you know anyway um Scorpio this might have been a walk-in situation too sorry I know we're going down a real crazy rabbit hole here but I feel like more so for those where it's um actually either they're saying either case either scenario uh, Scorpio, whoever this is to you or whoever these people are to you, I'd be very careful here, okay? I do feel like um, there is a situation with, with walk-ins. Like when they said shadow person to me, I'm like, that's kind of surprising because I consider those to be separate entities, but some people also consider them to be responsible for walk-in situations, okay? Could be dealing with people or a person who has a walk-in situation going on or some kind of like negative attachment. Okay, a shadow person attachment or a demonic attachment, whatever label you want to put on it, okay? That's not for everybody. I'm not trying to scare people. That's not for everybody, okay? But if you're in that situation, you probably already know this, and this is probably just your confirmation. They're saying yes. Okay, yes. This is not new information for those in that situation, okay? This would not be the first time you're hearing this or being made aware of this. It's just your confirmation. Jesus. Okay, well, I'm glad I clarified. All right, so let's keep going. Tell them about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Tell them about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Ooh. 
We've got the birds in the house. We have a king of cups energy there, which we do have on the board, um, with the birds with the uh, seven of pentacles energy. Okay, so top, this is this is weird. I don't like this energy, Scorpio. I don't like this because remember I was saying like trying to sweep the truth under the rug, and as opposed to bringing it up. Um, I feel like there's talks of someone uh, talks. Jesus, I'm so sorry, guys. My words. This Queen of Wands energy, I do feel like for those dealing with the Emperor or Empress, when there's a, two people involved in this and this person interfered, I do feel like they're on the side of the masculine energy. Um, and it feels like it's very close. I mean, with the home to come out, I mean, that's like, that's literally close to home, close to the heart or someone that they actually live with. And there's talks and communication here going on. And like, I was going to say about someone, I feel like about you, Scorpio, about the other person, about the other person. For those where you're just integrating your shadow side and this person's just someone who's jealous, someone who's mad at you, whatever reason or another, I do, again, I keep feeling like sweeping the truth under the rug as opposed to coming, having the truth come out. But the truth always comes to light. Truth always comes to light. If this person's been trying to keep the truth uh, from being revealed or trying to maybe sweep the truth under the rug about you, Scorpio, like maybe trying to paint a bad picture of you to someone or just paint a bad picture of you in general. The truth is coming out, but whoever they're talking to, they're close to, or they're talking to someone who's close to you, okay? So also keep that in mind. Over energy, we do have the key here, which I'm really happy to see actually with the eight of pentacles. And there's also a female here. <laughs> I've never noticed this before. Look at that. Oh, come on. Can you guys see it? Oh, it doesn't want to focus. There's a female there. Can you see it with the head and the shoulders? That's like her chest. And then she got a big skirt there. Scorpio. Where this is between you and an emperor. May 2nd video. I'm, this is a really long one, guys. Sorry. Where this is between you and an emperor. And this queen of wands interfered or many people interfered, represented by the queen of wands energy. You are the key to something here. Okay. And that's been that's been covered up. This is so crazy. That's been covered up. That truth has been hidden. Someone or many people went to some great lengths here to hide that truth from this emperor. And I'm I'm actually hearing great lengths. I can't stop seeing that woman. It's freaking me out. <laughs> I can't believe I never noticed that before. I the, great lengths, Scorpio. Great lengths because you are the key. Okay. And Scorpio, like I said, where this is between you and your shadow side and you're getting a lot of hate or people are mad at you because you're just coming into your power, whatever, represented by this queen of wands, a lot of people are talking about you. There's a lot of talks going on about you, Scorpio, because there's something about you where um, it's like you're, you're, you have access to something or you're getting access to something or you're the key to something. Like, that's what this is about. It's like there's something about your power or what you're doing or who you are where it's just like, yeah, like you are the access or you have the access or you're a VIP, whatever it is. It's like there's something kind of like special about your situation that other people are noticing. And they're talking shit. They're talking a lot. They're talking a lot. And I feel like they're trying to hide this fact, Scorpio. This is weird. This could be happening on the workplace. They're trying to hide this fact that you, you're the access to something or you're the key to something. I know, very cryptic, but you'll know how that resonates for you, okay? Oh my God. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into some Oracle cards. So I have been using the Goddess deck and I don't see why I should stop. So let's go ahead and use the Goddess deck. Ah, I could get it out. Hold on. I need a different box for that. Where's the book? Hold on a second. I want to make sure I actually have the book because I took it with me and now I don't see it. Oy. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, there it is. I do like to read them out loud, but let me get some water first. Mm. All right, Scorpios. What energies would be beneficial for my Scorpios to harness regarding this spread? I don't even know what to call this. <laughs> I don't even know what to title this. This is so intense. What energies would be beneficial for my Scorpios to harness regarding this spread?
What energies would be beneficial for my Scorpios to harness regarding this spread? Oh, oh, everyone has been getting this for the last batches, which is so funny. Vast independence. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So what's interesting about Bass and what I was getting for you, Scorpio, is I was picking up a lot of, excuse me, like Leo energy. that you They showed me you as a cat, right? As a big cat. Bast um, is known to be associated with cats, okay? You can even see them in the imagery there. So it's going to come up in the description, but I just wanted you to know. Very interesting little connection there. What other energies would be beneficial for my Scorpios to harness regarding this spread? Let's see. Ooh, we have sensitivity and don't back down with Bridget and uh, White Tara. Very nice, Scorpios. You're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Avoid that Queen of Wands. Avoid it. Avoid them. Avoid her or him. Stand up for what you believe is right. Well, I don't even need to tell Scorpio to do that. You guys just do that naturally. Let's see what other ones want to come out. Got a lot already, actually. What other energies would be beneficial for my Scorpios to harness regarding this spread? Oh, and then we have a uh, Cordelia. Go outside. You have been indoors too long. <laughs> Go outside and get some fresh air, Scorpio. Go outside and get some fresh air. That's funny. I'm like, I I haven't seen all the cards in this deck yet. So I'm like, I'm loving this one. Just go outside, Scorpio. Get get out of the house. Get out of the apartment. Go out and be out in nature. And honestly, Scorpio, that might even help, you, help your intuition a lot. That really might help your intuition quite a bit. Okay. All right, but let's go ahead and read these off. I literally just have the book in my hand. Where did it go? Oh, gee. Apparently, I'm still tired because it was right in front of my face and I didn't see it. Um, uh, Scorpio. For some of you, this Queen of Wands was right in front of your face the whole time and you didn't see it. For some of you, this person could have been a friend. Or a lover, an ex-lover even. Because like Queen of Wands is just an energy. It can be a man. It doesn't have to be a woman. Um, yeah, for some of you, this person was close to you. All right, Scorpio. Bast, independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Like the cats, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you must ask for your own, you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure these character characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone, give yourself permission to play, ask for your needs to be met, make your own decisions, work with cats, pay attention to your pet feline, or get a new cat. Let's see. The Egyptian goddess Bass transforms into, transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bast also works with cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Bast has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. Very nice. But yeah, I mean... Honestly, Scorpio, this is just you being that badass Black Panther Jaguar, okay? <laughs> that big black cat while you're integrating your shadow side. And like I said, a lot of you might have had to push people away. That was also indicated by this card. If you have, if none of this has happened to you yet, Scorpio, just get prepared that this might be the road that you're headed down and that it's okay to, to do this kind of work, even if it's hard. But it, there's a big payoff to doing this kind of work and getting away from people who won't allow you to grow in that way, okay? All right. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. First, be clear about your intentions. If you're unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and force. <laughs> ah, light, like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright in what, it is accept in what is acceptable in this situation. Make no mistake. I will guide and protect you. And yet, think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth. Now is the time to touch your power, for its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which will propel you forward in countless ways. Even in the face of fear, you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make your stand today. Be assertive. Don't worry about what others think. Trust that your uh, actions will work out fine. Speak your truth. 
Stick to your opinions and put your foot down. Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, which means that she represents three aspects of woman, the young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone, sage, wise woman. Bridget is a fiery goddess who's tireless, who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. And she's a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Oh, interesting. Bridget's temple is in Kildar, Ireland. She's celebrated worldwide on February 1st, the ancient sacred day called Imbolc which marks the beginning of springtime and increasing daylight. I love this energy for you, Scorpio, because it's that like, it's the warning, right? That you're giving to people with your energy here. And like I was saying, it's like a lot of fiery energy, right? That Leo energy, like you're a little fired up. Your energy is fired up, whether you, you're realizing it or not. And some of you, like I said, feel like you, your protection's been infiltrated. Call upon this energy for your protection to really enhance that or get that back, okay? Now let's do Cordelia. I know a lot of information for you, Scorpios. I know a lot of you have to watch this one again. <laughs> Cordelia, go outside. <laughs> You've been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Being cooped up is not the natural way for inhabitants of this exciting planet to live. Believe me, there's plenty to see and experience when you exit your four walls and roof. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I've got family calling me. Give me one second. All right, Scorpio. Sorry about that. Family stuff, you know? Anyway. All right, so I'm not quite sure where I left off in the description, so I'm just going to start over. Uh, Cordelia, go outside. You must have been indoors too. You have been indoors too long. <laughs> I was about to say you must have been. Anyway, <laughs> go outside and get some fresh air. <coughs> Being cooped up is not the natural way for inhabitants of this exciting planet to live. Believe me, there's plenty to see and experience when you exit your four walls and roof. A daily venture outside will not only revive your spirit and soul, it will give you hope and faith in the planet's very existence and future. You'll see all the goodness that's in store within nature. The flower is ready to un unfurl. Oh, that's a word, unfurl. I never heard that word before. <clears throat> The leaves that are sprouting, the birds that hop about, and even the wind that affectionately caresses you. Don't let another day go by without stepping outdoors into the most ex entertaining and exciting of environments. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Scorpio. Your manifestation will appear in May. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, okay. And or when the weather is warmer. Spend time, that's like... Sorry, that was just very clear, Scorpio. Let me read that one again. Your manifestation will appear in May and or when <clears throat> the weather is warmer. Spend time in nature. Change to a job that allows for more connection with nature. Practice environmentalism. Recognize the need for balance in your life, for more rest and play. This Celtic fairy goddess helps watch over the flowers that bloom in the spring and summertime. She's associated with the ancient sacred day, Beltane, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, which is celebrated on May 1st to welcome the Celtic summer season. Is there another holiday on May 1st? I feel like there is, but it's, isn't that, wait, isn't that called May Day? Like literally, isn't that called May Day? Oh, that's that. you guys can confirm that. I'm like, I don't know why that's coming through, but I'm pretty sure that's May Day. Anyway, which is celebrated on May 1st to welcome the Celtic summer season. Call upon Cordelia to help you thaw out any situation or relationship that seems cold or dreary. Scorpios, like I said, for some of you, you know this Queen of Wands. Others, this is between you and an emperor where a Queen of Wands energy or energies could be multiple people interfered and other Scorpios is between you and yourself integrating your shadow side you got some hateration kind of going on here Scorpio but either way getting outside and being in nature will help you be grounded and will also help you gain clarity with your intuition and help you through this integration process as well okay so that's really important don't stay stuck inside for too long <clears throat> Even if you're being a little bit of hermit, okay? So just recognize it if you are staying inside for too long or you haven't been in nature for a while, okay? All right, let's do white Tara. And then we'll pull some animal cards, okay? White Tara, sensitivity. You're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. As you've purified your inner world of thoughts, actions, and intentions, it's natural that you seek purity in your outer world as well. This is to acknowledge your heightened sensitivity, which is as real as it seems. You've stripped away the outer protective layers of unneeded defenses, which blocked your psychic and spiritual awareness. Oh, Scorpio. Some of you need to do this. <clears throat> Now on your path of ascension, which calls for your heightened awareness, and with this awareness comes new levels of sensitivity to the impure and harsh. <coughs> oh, Scorpios, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Hold on. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
a lot of throat stuff going on for people right now. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Your body is a trustworthy instrument of measurement of your tolerance level. Steer clear of that which your body signals you to avoid. Take excellent care of your body and it shall serve you well. Acknowledge and honor your sensitivity. Take steps to protect yourself from negativity. Avoid chemicals. Steer clear of situations with loud noise, crowds, violent media, or other triggers. White Tara is an aspect of Tara, a female Buddha and Hindu mother creator. The many female faces of the Buddha and mother creator are represented as various colors of Tara. <clears throat> White Tara represents purity, maturity, and compassion. The eyes on her hands, feet, and forehead allow her to be aware of all her prayers. She helps us to live long and peaceful lives. Like I said in the very beginning, some of you guys are really going through a leveling up here or even ascension process. And that's definitely what this card was touching on. With that does come heightened abilities and heightened sensitivities and just further awareness of our environments and the shit that goes on in it that's really not good for us. And it goes hand in hand with being outside as well. The more you're in nature, like a very natural environment, I'm not talking about like, I've got some trees in my apartment complex. Let me go sit by the tree. That'll be a lot nicer than being inside. But I mean like nature, like being in the woods, being at the beach, being at the lake, like trying to get away from very concreted urban environments, even if it's for like a day or a weekend, just make sure you make it a priority for yourself, Scorpio. Just to schedule some time to make sure you do that. It will make a world of difference for you, especially meditating in an environment like that. And as the... Uh, so much stuff going on, Scorpio. I just got nasally again. Sorry, bring it back. Um, as time goes on, Scorpio, <clears throat> more and more people will be waking up. More and more people will be becoming even more aligned and ascending even further. People will be more sensitive, like, as a whole. Like, people like us won't be so weird anymore <laughs> as far as our sensitivities are concerned because everyone's going to be a lot more sensitive, okay? So just honor that and pay attention to that and own that and protect that and i do feel some of you will be doing this already or already aware that you need to do this in that like black panther jaguar setting of like marking your territory being on alert and it's like and, at, and remember like even when i saw that big black cat <clears throat> you were in um, a very unnatural environment for you you were in a habitat that was not your norm that was not what you were used to and you were having to deal with it and adapt to it but just be aware of it and be tapped into that issue of sensitivity, okay? All right, so let's pull some animal cards and then we'll wrap this up. <clears throat> oh my God, if my throat will cooperate, hold on. Mm. Okay. Ugh. All right, Scorpios. Any advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? <clears throat> Any advice from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Sorry, Scorpio, they keep drawing me back to this. For those where you're dealing with your own alignment and integrating your shadow side, please look up whatever you need to let go of. It really is affecting your, your stability and your abundance. It's, excuse me, it's affecting your flow of abundance. Some of you might have already been aware of this or made aware of this. Some of you are not aware. Um, <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> be aware. Okay, be aware of that. Ugh. Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? So we got here. Oh, <laughs> surrender now <laughs> with Moss Spirit 39 breaking down to a three and Crow Spirit Co create with Spirit 17 breaking down to an eight. Scorpio, you're already very aware of this. <clears throat> uh, whichever situation you're finding yourself in, whether your connection with you and Emperor has been interrupted by a Queen of Wands energy or energies, or you're integrating your shadow side here and you're trying to get to the other end of this tower moment. Uh, you're trying really hard to work with spirit. You know you need to. Like I said, it's like you you know you need to use your intuition, but it's been hard for you to use your intuition. It's been hard for you to use your intuition because you are going through an integration process. And for some of you, you haven't let go of something. You started to address it and then you stopped. Sorry, I'm just the messenger. I know some of you guys don't want to hear that because if if that's you, you stopped for a reason because it was either really hard or... <clears throat> 
You were just having difficulty really finishing that process of processing it, the thing that you need to let go of emotionally. That's why Moss Spirit is here is to surrender to it. Surrender to the process of addressing that thing you open the box on and then you immediately was like, no, I didn't open the box. <laughs> Whatever it is, Scorpio. And again, this could be someone else. So just take these messages as they resonate. <clears throat> could be someone you're connecting with, uh, surrender to the process and surrender to the process of integration. A lot of you are doing that beautifully, but you aren't on the other side of it yet because you're not letting this go. Okay. So just surrender to the entire process, even if it's hard. I know it's hard. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Moss spirit is also about relinquishing control. Okay. So Scorpio, we also know that lovely Scorpios do have that controlling issue. Okay. Uh, of trying to just maintain, 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 maintain. And a lot of you are doing that because it's like, it's easier to do that than to try to use your intuition, which is not very clear right now. You gotta let go of that control. Okay. <clears throat> ah, okay. Any other advice for my Scorpios? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? <laughs> oh, yeah, Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Panther spirit. Reclaim your power. Should I just call this Black Panther? Maybe that's what I'll call it. <laughs> Energy of 44, which is a master number. It's a master number of stability and management, which is really true control, right? Because it's like... <clears throat> At the end of the day, there's not very much we actually have control over. We can control our reaction to things. We have control over that. We have control over when we eat, for the most part. You know, it's like very few things we have actual control over. Management is true control because management is working and adapting to the chaos of life. And a lot of you who are in this integration process um, and those of you where you're dealing with an emperor, between emperor and empress, um, the emperor is in that that state of dealing with chaos and trying to just control, control, control the chaos. There's no such thing as controlling the chaos. There's a there's a, such a thing as adapting to it, and maintain and having some kind of uh, maintaining routine through management. Right? We can manage something very well, but we can't control it. Right? <clears throat> <clears throat> A lot of you, this is a lesson that you're learning to master, okay? And it is putting you in that power position. It's helping you to step into your true power. It's helping you to ascend and to level up as you go through this integration process of integrating your shadow, okay? Um, but it is beautiful energy, Scorpio, and I'm so glad that came out because that's exactly what I saw for you in the beginning. Any other advice for my Scorpios? Any other advice for my Scorpios regarding this spread? Overall energy, yeah, what did I say, Scorpios? Time to let it go. Groundhog spirit, 31, bring it down to a four. You got four, four, four. Four is going to be very significant for you. You could have been seeing that for quite some time here, Scorpio. But let go of the stuff that needs to be let go of. Address and process the stuff that needs to be let go of. Like I said, if there's an emperor-empress situation going on for you, if you're in that group where you're dealing with another person and other people or another person got involved, it's very well the emperor energy that has to do this and not you, the empress, okay? But for those of you where you're integrating your shadow side, you opened a box on an issue to deal with it and then you didn't do it. Or then you closed it real quick, real quick, but you already started the process, which is why you're kind of stuck in it. It's okay to, to go back to it. It's okay for us to admit that sometimes some issues are really hard, so then you just got to walk away for a little bit. But keep in mind, then you're dragging that around with you if you're not addressing it, right? So just time to let that go so you can come out of this tower moment, okay? Oh, Scorpios. I know, like I said, a lot of stuff, you will probably have to rewatch this. I don't know what I'm going to title this. There's been so much that came up in this reading, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope you guys found it insightful. Don't forget to go on, um, <clears throat> ah, excuse me, uh, Vimeo, Patreon, what else? Instagram. <laughs> I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. I'll probably be deleting Facebook. I'll be honest with you at some point. The next couple months i'm just being honest with you i'm also going to delete it i don't really use it and i don't really like facebook that much i've been liking it less and less and less and less and less but i'll let you guys know once i do or if i decide to okay but scorpios i love you guys um keep in mind i am making a lot of changes to the channel if you were just tuning in to me like your first time like right now or the first time last week i am making a lot of changes to the channel there are changes i'm really excited about i talked about it in the new year's in the new year's Eve, New Year's Day, the New, Year, the New Year's video I did, I talked about some of the changes I'm making. It's really exciting. It's really exciting. And I think the information I'm going to be giving you guys moving forward is going to be way more helpful than doing the sign readings that I've been doing. Um, but I love you guys so much. Take care and have a really good start to 2020. I cannot believe we're in 2020 already. It's so crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go. Have a great night. Namaste.